So to build the spotlight, you are going to then place down the spotlight, whichever one you want. Then once you place that, you're then going to find the image that is worth $750. And then once you get that, you can rotate it 90 degrees and then rotate it to where it's laying down. Turn it to one fourth snapping and place it in the middle of the spotlight. Then you're going to change the snapping back to default. I'm going to stretch it out so that is two times the length that it was before. And then you can go by adding the image ID, which is listed on screen. Then make the image transparent. Now you're going to change the brightness to 5 and the range to 40. Now once you do that, you can then flip the image upside down so it is double sided. You can also change the color of the spotlight to any color that you would like. Now if you would want to make any fading lights or rainbow lights, use a sequencer and select the spotlight and change the item mode to fade. And then once you put it to fade, then you can change the start color and then the end color. Now once you have finished that, you're then going to place a timer, and then when you click on the timer, um, you're going to set the item mode to periodic activation, and make it so that it activates every 10 seconds, and then add the sequencer to the trigger, and then it will automatically play every 10 seconds. Now, uh, if you would like to make a strobe light, go into the settings and make it go to pulse, and then it will automatically strobe. Then you can add the spotlights to rides or stages or shows. You can put it anywhere because they all blend in and look nice with everything.